I was really sad in class that it wouldn't let me share my screen. So I'm going to show you here what I wanted to show you. I'm going to assume that you were able to get your SAS profile set up, log in. So now we have SAS Studio. Let's click on that. I'm also going to presume that you saved from the last time the lib name statement. If you didn't, you can just type it in, lib name here, my data, any word you want to use that is a valid SAS name. And don't forget the quotes, courses, slash this long thing here. Access equals read only, and semicolon, and then a run semicolon. You probably should just save this, right? So you could run it every time you want to access the class data set, which is what I did. I had saved it as read data SAS. Click up here if you want to save your program. See how I hover over it? It says save program. If I want to save it with a different name, I click here and put save as. But I already have it. So I'm going to run. And you can see everything ran. Now I'm going to go under libraries, just to see what I got. So uh, under my data, I have all of these. I have COH602, which has part of the California Health Interview Survey. Scroll down some. I have this data set on the Kaiser Permanent Day Study of Old People. I have a bunch of stuff in there. Um, something on autism. So yeah, just poke around in there. See what other libraries you got. Now, this should interest you. This is the SAS Help Library. We talked about the SAS Help Library in class click there and you could see I didn't have to do anything to get that library available because it just ships with SAS Studio. We talked about the heart data set a little bit. Scroll down here. Where it go? Past it. There it is. If you double click on it, you can get a look at the data. So yeah, poke around here a little bit and see what libraries there are. There's mostly just the class data set uh, in the SAS Health Library that you have access to. So that's cool stuff. Now, let's go into tasks and utilities. Last time we looked at the characterized data task. Let's look at a different one. Let's try list table attributes. Let's, yeah, let's pick up the SAS Help data set. SAS help. Scroll to where it says heart. Double click on that. And there's my little running guy. And this gives me the contents of that data set. All right, so that's one way to do it. But perhaps, like me, you are not a particularly patient person. You don't want to do all this pointing and clicking. You're busy. And so another way to do it Let's go back to my program I had here. I could do a completely new program. Let's do it. Let's do new SAS program and do prop contents data equals SAS help dot heart colon semicolon run semicolon. And I click here. And this is going to give me the contents of that data set. So I could do it using the list table attributes task that I found over here under, ta under tasks. Or I could create a program type prop contents data equals, in this case, sashelp.heart, semicolon, run semicolon. I kind of like programming, especially if you're doing something many times. Now you can save these tasks, but if I've got to do contents or many times do a particular analysis for multiple data sets, I just find it a lot quicker to do the programming than to do the pointing and clicking. But both of those will give you the contents of the data set. If you wanted to get, say, frequencies, let's say I'd like to know how many people smoke and what gender they are. You could do proc freak data equals sas help dot hurt T 
table, sex, and smoking status. A big mistake I see students make all the time with their first starting this is they leave off that space, and so they get smoking and status. They, they put in a space, they leave off the underscore. All right, you can run the whole thing again. It doesn't hurt anything, or you could just highlight this and run it. Let's just do that. And notice it copies over your previous results. So I've got 2,873 females, 2,336 men, smoking status is broken down like this. Oh wait, I really wanted those contents. Just go back, click, run the whole thing. And I always do the proc contents first because I need to know exactly how to spell these to include them in my other programming statements. So there you go, there's a little bit of introduction to how to get the table attributes in two different ways and how to, to get the frequencies of a couple of variables. So proc freak, data equals, data set name, semicolon, tables, variables in a list, semicolon, run, there you go. Now remember, you could do this without the lib name because these are part of the data sets that come with SAS. But if you wanted something else, say I wanted it for the birth defects data set, I'd have to do proc contents, uh, data equals my data dot birth defects. I, you know, it used to bug me how it auto-completes things, but now I like it. And that gives me the details of the birth defects data set. So, so there you go. Even if Blackboard sharing the screen didn't work in class, you could not defeat me.